all right my people good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are hearing us from yes this one brings hope to me i'm praying for mazin amdekano i don't know about you have you forgotten him don't forget him something is about to happen in the uk now the Kano's case coming up for hearing at appeal court in uk on 22nd of june 2023 our eyes are on the ball yes somebody tweeted is actually Binda's LLP. The lawyers that are pushing for Namdekano's release from UK, they tweeted something. They said Namdekano's case is awaiting a court of appeal hearing on 22nd. The outcome of this will have significant implication for every British citizen traveling abroad in the future. Shireen Maka, one of Namdekano's legal team, explains why he all right what is he explaining he said the high court judgment is troubling not just for mr kano but for any british citizen who finds themselves subject to a serious violation of their rights while abroad it effectively enables the foreign secretary to remain indefinitely ambivalent in the face of such a violation and limit the steps the British authorities should take to assist a British citizen, even in circumstances where there is clear evidence of that violation. Who is writing to us, Shreen Maka, solicitor, public law and human rights? All right, dear friends, I want to use this ample opportunity to tell us that uh, it's obvious Nigeria have failed. They have failed woefully. And then the next hope we have for Mazenam Dekano should be from UK because we know at least they have put whoever they want to put there as president. Buhari is gone, all right? He has stolen billions and trillions of money. A president that gives order from above to Central Bank to release 500 billion naira every month. He has stolen enough. He has gone, right? It's now clear to you that that is not Buhari, isn't it? Okay, now, um, they said that hearing should be on 22nd of June. It's still coming. This one has not passed. All eyes on the ball. Prayers should be the key right now. So that appeal court will know that at least Nigerian appellant court has also ruled that Kano should be released. And... And uh, these lawyers are pressing and pushing that this will not only affect Kano, but also any British citizen that finds himself or herself abroad. And if anything, you know, onto what happens to the person, would they now go and save the person why they did not save Kano? Britain has dented its image because of Mazenam de Kano. Their image has been dented heavily, smelly because of one innocent freedom fighter. You know why? It is because of your freedom and because of my freedom. These are the people holding us in perpetual slavery. You know, they want us to perpetually serve them, perpetually answer them, perpetually respond to them. But we are not, we are not supposed to be their perpetual slaves. All right? That is why you should pray. Because I've seen it, that this has gone beyond, it has gone beyond what we are thinking. Yeah. It's in another level. Another level of conspiracy. They conspired against him. Three governments conspired against Namdekano. The Kenya government, Nigerian government, and British government. One man. And you feel the one man? No, it's because of you. They conspired against him. They don't want you to have your oil yourself. They don't want you to have the leaders of your choice. That is why they failed Obi. They don't want you to have the leaders of your choice. Calling for referendum is not calling for war. Everybody knows that. And people should continually push for that. Because referendum will make you to stand as human being and say, oh, yes, I want to stand by this or stand by this. You have that right to make decision of where you belong. 
we are human beings for crying out loud so being mass llp we are right behind you pushing forward a lawyer ejimako is behind you if for no other lawyer i know mike ozokome is right behind you please push for the release of mazenam de kano 70 or over 70 million uh, beer friends are right behind you Brit Brit government that is Biafra government Biafra Republic government in exile they are right behind you forget about those that chased back the medical personnel that are supposed to have surgery on Mazina de Cano forget them they are not friends they are enemies you don't need to tell us that that somebody needed assistance in the hospital needed urgent operation and we knew what it took before dss consented to that before they signed such documents that would warrant those doctors to go in suddenly um chica edozim the head of the directorate yes and if i knew a job for they conspired eternally against Mazenam de Kano. This is what we call internal conspiracy. International conspiracy colluding with internal conspirators. They are having conspiracy against this innocent life. And that is what we have for you right now. Urging you to please take glue to this channel, like what we are doing, subscribe, and support us. God bless you.